Last week, rioters stormed the Tennessee State House. They shut down the government in the name of child genital mutilation and gun seizures. Some of the rioters also attacked police officers. Republicans in Tennessee, who control the State House, held Democrats to their own standard. This was an insurrection, and that's not allowed. So they expelled two Democratic Party representatives who participated in the insurrection. Yesterday, one of those lawmakers who was expelled, Justin Jones, attacked a Republican representative, of course, on the basis of his race. What I told you was what you just exhibited as the only member of their caucus who is not of the Caucasian persuasion. I said that you put a brown face on white supremacy. Oh, please. So the man he was attacking was Representative Kumar, and he had a response to that. Here it is. I'm an immigrant, everybody knows. I have been in this country for 53 years. I have never encountered a racial slur. I'm really not aware of that any of that applies to me. I live a good life. Yet, you on tape call me a brown face. You walked up to me, you had no business coming up to me, you were sitting a row or two ahead of me. You shove your finger in my face and said, you shove your finger in my face and said, Kumar, they will never accept you. You said it twice. It is disappointing that you have insulted this body. You have insulted your colleagues. You have insulted the House of, Rep uh, the House of Representatives in the state of Tennessee. You have insulted our speaker. You have personally insulted me. Of course, they go immediately to race. Sabi Doc Kumar is a representative from the state of Tennessee. He voted, as we told you, to expel Justin Jones and two other Democrats who participated in the insurrection. He joins us tonight. Representative Kumar, thank you so much for coming on. You said something poignant at the top. You said you've been in this country a long time and you've never experienced a racial slur until this week. That is true, Tucker. I have been here for 53 years and I have practiced surgery. I've lived in Tennessee for 46 years and people have been extremely kind to me. Uh, I was really surprised, and that these things should not happen, especially in a place where people are constantly guarding the values in such a way that discrimination and racism does not occur. Well, it sounds like they're creating it. I mean, I, the, the dispute that you're having with Democrats has nothing to do with race that I can see, unless I'm missing something. The problem really, I think we have to consider in the context of what happened in Nashville on March 27. You know, there was an unfortunate shooting at the uh, Covenant Presbyterian Church. Six people died. And it is the grace of the Covenant Presbyterian Church that instead of saying six people were killed, they count the shooter among those and said seven people died. That is the community that we live in. That is the community that Nashville is. And people yes. included the shooter among the casualties. And as important as time as it is for our community to allow for healing, to allow for understanding before we move to plan on what can we do to avoid such violence within our society. These representatives took time to invite people, mobilize schools, bring thousands of children in, and create a situation that it became about them. It was not about any solutions. It was not about sympathy and mourning and other things that needed yes. to be done. It really, they, they took it as an opportunity for political purposes to demonstrate and mobilize the people against the current uh, uh, administration. Yes. Then, in addition to that, not only were they satisfied with the, making it all about themselves, they went on to basically commandeer the house. They walked into the well of the uh, main area within the House of Representatives, disrupted the function, 
started mobilizing and shouting and creating chaos within the uh, House of Representatives to the point that business could not be conducted. They took the place hostage. Yes. And that is not the purpose. Uh, the idea was, again, to achieve the time of mourning, a time of healing, and go on to think solutions. and. It's a frequent thing. Let's do something. Okay, let us take right. time to do something, but not make it about themselves. Of course. Dr. Kumar, your and decency comes right through the screen. And um, so I, without knowing a lot of the details, I'm definitely on your side in this debate, and we appreciate your explaining this story to us a little more tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.